Hey everybody, it's Merrill, and today we are going to do a brand new type of step-by-step -step video, hopefully something brand new and exciting. Um, I usually focus on the lines with my step-by-step -step instruction. Today, in this video, you are going to learn how to shade step-by-step. -step. We're doing a very simple subject. We're doing a shell, and the reason why is so that we can really focus on that shading. All that you're going to need is a piece of paper, a pencil, um, a paintbrush if you have one. Um, if you don't have a paintbrush, just get a Q-tip. Uh, you're going to use that to shade and uh, hopefully we make this nice and simple. Step 1. Draw this squiggly circle shape that looks like the beginning of a Scooby-Doo cartoon. Step 2. Add another loop to your Scooby-Doo thingy and notice that it gets slightly wider. How much wider, you ask? Well, I don't want to go Fibonacci on you, so just use your observation skills and say to yourself, it gets a little wider. Step 3. Yes, you might have guessed that your Scooby-Doo thingy gets a little bit wider. Draw it now. Step 4. Did you know that a slug is a homeless snail? Well, if you didn't, now you do. Add the last layer to the spiral thingy. If you don't, your snail will become homeless and become a slug. Very sad. Step 5. Complete your shell shape or give up and say the shell with it. Step 6. Hit that like button and add that line at the bottom of the shell shape. Step 7. Add the silly looking sun. Don't ask why, just add the silly looking sun. Step 8. Erase any solid lines facing the silly looking sun. Step 9. Do not draw until I give you the signal to draw. Just watch. I'm using my pencil tip to make a series of lines next to each other and sometimes on top of each other. Notice that my lines round as the shell rounds. In other words, my lines will follow the contours of the shell. This area is going to be one of the darker areas because it is facing away from the silly looking sun. Get ready to pause the video because now it is going to be your turn to draw. Try to shade just as I did. Enjoy the elevator music. Step 10. Do the same thing, but on the top of the shell. Make sure that your hatching follows the contours of your shell. Most importantly, make sure that you go a lot lighter towards the top. If you still have a solid line at the top of your shell, erase it now, just so that you can see a little bit. Now pause the video, because it's your turn to shade. Or, listen to the soulful music. Step 11. Complete the inner part of the shell. Notice that there are more shadows on the bottom of the shell, and notice that it is lighter on the top of the shell. Don't panic if yours doesn't look exactly like mine. Remember that an eraser is a drawing tool as well. Generally speaking, the lines on the bottom at this point are thicker and more dense than the lines on the top. Remember you can go darker in two ways. One is by overlapping the lines that you already have with more lines, and two is by pressing very hard with the pencil. Now it's your turn to draw. Be sure to use your observation skills 
and be in the habit of looking at my reference image once every five seconds. Pause the video now or enjoy the elevator music. Step 12. Erase the silly sun. Step 13. Grab your blending tools and your darker pencils if you have them. It's time to put this all together. The outside of a snail shell is smooth, so you're going to have gradual transitions of light. We need to understand that when we shade. The changes in tone will be very subtle, and we're going to use an eraser and a paintbrush to blend things together. Notice that I barely use the paintbrush. People can definitely overuse their blending tools. I recommend that you crosshatch first and then use the blender as a connector. We're going to pause the video one last time for you to try that. Please enjoy the music. Step 13. If you wish, use a pen to outline the very bottom. This helps sharpen the edges, but it is not necessary. This concludes our tutorial, so I can speak like a human being again. I hope that this was helpful. Um, if it was, please hit that subscribe button, and uh, I thank you very much for watching.